How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you a cool app called uh, Notes Plus. And uh, it's one of the best apps I've found that lets you actually uh, write actual handwriting. And um, it lets you write small like you would write on a regular sheet of paper. Uh, most apps, most of the writing apps when you write, it's hard to write really small because the stylus, the tip is kind of rounded and that's how it has to be for the iPad for the time being. So this app it lets you write and it will actually shrink the text down smaller so then it will look like regular handwriting on a sheet of paper. So let me go ahead and jump in and show you what it's all about. Uh, Notes Plus is what it's called. Uh, it's $6.99 in the App Store. So if you're trying to see if it's worth it to get it, you know, I guess you'll find out after the video. So let me show you kind of how it works. So uh, right now I can just write, like I can choose different uh, pen tips, different colors, if I want it to be big or small. And so right now I can go, hello. You're probably saying, okay, that's okay, but it's still big. So let's say if I want to write this, but I want to write in between the lines. You just hold down on the piece of paper, and then this little box comes up, and you can adjust where the box goes. And now I can write. If you can see, I write it big here, and then it shrinks it down right here. Now watch this. So I can actually go across the page too, and let me show you how that works. So hello, my name is Joe. I love the iPad. And so as you can see, it'll actually follow you all the way across the page so you don't have to stop and move the box. You, what you do is you pick up in the gray area where you left off. Okay, so right here you see iPad and it actually takes that ending and puts it right here. And now I could just write here a period and it, it jumps across and it puts the writing right there. So, and what's cool is when you get to the page, it'll actually jump to the next line. For Christmas, oh, usually it jumps down sometimes, it depends on how you do it. Um, let's see, for Christmas, I received a toy car. See that? So it went from there and it jumped right down to the next line. So this is what's really cool because it just it lets you write big, but it shrinks it down to normal size. And don't worry, the app isn't just limited to writing. Let's say if you want to type as well, I can do this. You want to take two fingers and you want to tap. And then this box will come up and the keyboard will come up. And now I can type regular. Hello, my name is Joe. And now I can finish like that. And what's cool is it, when you tap on the writing app, you can actually move it where you want, anywhere on the page. So I usually try to move it so it's in between the lines. So uh, it really opens it up because now, again, you can write full with your hand. And, you know, you can make that text smaller. And what's cool is if you go into this little tool right here, you can change the type of paper you use. Uh, so there's plain white. There's a uh, graphing paper. There is uh, just no lines. Then you have the yellow paper. And then you have music uh, paper as well. So if you need to actually like write music, you can also use it like that as well. And then you can actually go in. There's, you can make a bunch of adjustments to the app. You can adjust the height of the paper or the lines. So let's go back to line paper first. And let's say if you want to make those lines uh, smaller, we're going to tap on the wrench. Go to app settings, and now I can go smaller, and it will shrink the lines down, or I can go bigger. So let's say if you want to have your kid practice their handwriting, you can make the lines bigger for them. So it really allows you to customize it to what's going to be more comfortable for you. You can have uh, the document saved to your Google Docs account. So all you need is a Google uh, or a Gmail account, and it will let you save whatever you've done into that account. And then um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do in the settings as well. Uh, another cool part is you can actually record while you're taking notes. So there's a little microphone right here. When I hit that, it'll actually start recording my voice. So if you're in a meeting, you can take your handwritten notes and then you have a copy of the whole conversation in the app as well. And I just tap on the mic again to stop it and I hit play. It'll actually start recording my voice. 
So if you're in a meeting, you can there it is. Notes and then you so, and uh, you could record multiple times. So not just one set of notes. You could stop, start again, have different sections. So uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, you could create little folders for different projects. I'll just show you. Uh, this is one little chart I did. Um, so I, you know, you can make lines, and you know, you can again go back and forth between uh, type and handwritten. And then I'll show you uh, some notes I actually took. These are some notes I was doing, and so I would type a little bit, and then I would underline certain important points, and then I would write here to make sure I notated certain things. Um, so, and it comes with a full instruction manual that kind of breaks down how to use it and how to use the different features. So, uh, it really walks you through and makes sure that, you know, you know how to use it. You just got to go through, it's like 10 pages of different notes and you can do shapes, you can do mathematical signs. Um, I was talking to a guy the other day and, and all he wanted to do was to write mathematical equations. And so he tested this app, this app and he loved it because he was able to actually write uh, his notes or, you know, the complex math signs, and then it will shrink it down so you could actually use most of the page. So, and then, you know, this is draw little arrows. You can do shapes. You can color the shapes. Sky is the limit. So, I definitely encourage you to try this app out. There is not a light version. It's only, uh, there's only a paid version. So, you know, hopefully by this video you were able to gauge how much you liked it or didn't like it. But I've had it for a long time. I actually bought it when it first came out and it wasn't that great. And then they improved it. And then I started using the app again. Let me show you if you want to uh, erase something, how do you do that? So there's a little eraser up here. You tap on that and then I can just go like this. And it'll go through and it'll erase the text. It doesn't erase words like that. Only your handwritten text. Okay. And let's say you mess up and now you want that back. There's a little undo arrow right here. Tap on that, and then it takes everything back that you just erased. Okay? If you want to change the name of the page, you just tap up here where uh, the title is, and it'll let you write in a new title. And then uh, if you want to go add another page, you're going to go ahead and hit the plus right here, and then it'll start a second page for you. Now, one last cool part. There's this section down here that's called Palm Pad, where when you, can, when you tap on this, this little pad comes up where if you need to rest your hand on it, then it won't affect or it won't start writing. Now, it's not fully perfected. I don't use the palm pad too much, but uh, it works best when you're just typing. It doesn't work as well when you're just writing. So, this is Notes Plus. It's available in the App Store. Again, it's $6.99 if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it's on sale, maybe it went down. But definitely a cool app if you want to take handwritten notes and do things like that. So, oh. Last part too, you can actually export the document after. So if you want to export it into iTunes or put it in photos, it'll save it as a JPEG. You can email it, upload it to Google Docs, or you can sync it with Dropbox. So it syncs with all the major, uh, you know, uh, what do you call them, servers. And uh, hey, give it a shot. You know, it's the only way you'll know for sure if it's going to work for you. But I love it. I use it every day. All right, take care. Have a good one.